Thanks so much for tuning into Town and Country. I am your host, Alicia Lewis. Happy Friday, Junior, everyone. We are almost to the weekend, but not quite because we have so much to unpack on here on Town and Country. Well, today I am taking you back to the ABAC farm. That's right. The college's horticulture club took me under their wing and showed me how to prepare for gardening season. And it is spring, so take a look at all the fun that I had. Okay, sir, you're going to show us the importance of potting up a geranium, right? Th that's right. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so when you get this from the nursery, this is a pretty big geranium. It is. It's in a, in a three-gallon nursery container. Okay. So what I like to do when you first get it is deadhead it. So these blossoms that are spent is what we'll call it. Um, so they're on their way out. So you make sure that we get more buds. Some people will just clip that off. And that makes it look better, but it's not really doing much for the plant. So we'll take that, that stem. We'll go all the way back to where it meets the, the main branch. Mm -hmm. You'll hear it kind of snap. Yeah. We'll break that off. And what's that doing? And it's kind of tricking the plant into thinking that that flower isn't there anymore, and it isn't. But the plant wants these flowers to go to seed. Uh, so if you break that off, it knows that that flower can't go to seed, so it's going to push more flowers. Gotcha. That's what we want. Gotcha. So okay. when I first get it, I'm going to go through and I'm gonna break off. So that one's probably past its past its prime, so I'll snap that one off too. That one actually looks cute. <laughs> it looks cool. <laughs> so some of these are, they're still opening up and they've got color and then we still, we've got the ones that aren't open at all. So we've got plenty of it butted up. So what we'll do next. Can I put this in my hair? <laughs> I think it looks good. It matches, all right. Okay. So the next thing we want to do, and this one probably, it's huge, but it's probably not really rooted in. Okay. So it may be a little messy, but we'll turn it upside down. Kind of Ooh. pull that apart. Yep. So it's rooted Those in. Those look, look great too. Yeah. So it's pretty rooted in and we won't, yeah. we won't tease that too much. I don't think it really needs it. So we'll take this and we'll go straight into our terracotta. Mm -hmm. Now, what are the pros and cons of a terracotta? So the terracotta pot versus like the nursery container, this terracotta is some natural material. Oh. So it's gonna give you that kind of earthy look in the in the garden. Yeah. But it's also, it's porous, so it's gonna breathe, mm -hmm. which is good for the roots. And it's good for kind of getting oxygen to the roots. And mm -hmm. yeah. one thing that you have gotta watch out for when using terracotta is it's gonna release some of that water. Oh. So you have to water more often, but Overall, it's much better than a plastic container gotcha. or fiberglass or something you can pick up from a big box store. Gotcha. We need to fill this. Yeah, so the... we'll okay. we'll backfill this pot up, and we went one size up okay. to give the geranium some more soil volume. That's going to give it more space to grow its roots out. Mm -hmm. Just going to give it more space to take up nutrients and take up water, which is good. Okay, that's what we want. We'll pack that in. All right, Charlie, so how many plants do you take care of on a, on a weekly basis? So at home, I've got probably over 100 plants. 100 um, plants? Yeah, so I've got a lot between my back porch and my indoor plants. Okay, what would you say is your favorite one? Probably azaleas. I've got a couple of those in my landscape. Yeah. They're coming into peak bloom right now, yeah. so that's fun to see. Yeah, well, you're making me want to become a plant mom, but I only have two plants at home. Oh, yeah. fake. Oh, they're fake? <laughs> He's like, oh my God. <laughs> I don't think I have any fake plants. Oh, see, I need to get it. I need to get it together. Huh. So we've got that potted up. We've got all that soil tamped down. So the next step would be to put it in a sunny spot. Mm -hmm. um, geraniums are going to like pretty much full sun. Um, in the summer when it gets really, really hot, they're going to, they can take the sun, but they don't have the heat. Oh. So here in South Georgia, we're going to want to put them in some shade, somewhere where they'll get shade in the afternoon. So morning sun for sure. The more sun, the more flowers. Gotcha. Um, but then we want to protect it in the afternoon if we can. Awesome. Well, thank you for my lesson and thank you for the information that you gave. You're welcome. It's very, very important and, and essential. I love it. Again, I told you I want to be a plant mom now after this. Yep. So <laughs> I think I need to go to Lowe's and give me a few plants. Or even I can take, can I take some? Yeah, we'll, we'll set you up. <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Town and Country. I am joined by Mr. Charlie. As you've seen on the video, he decided to come in the studio with me to talk about their annual plant sale. So thank you so much for joining me today. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Awesome. I'm happy to see you again. 
when I was with you, um, I told you I want to be a plant mom because of you. <laughs> you really inspired me. <laughs> That's good to hear. Awesome. All right. So I want to talk about your um, interest in gardening. What inspired your interest in gardening? I think growing up on a small family farm, we did um, watermelon crop every year. And mm -hmm. that was fun to see the seeds germinate and grow all, all the way to a, a good harvest. Yeah. Um, that and then the pandemic when I started picking out plants and seeing how big I can get them or seeing you know, how many baby plants I can start off of one mother plant, that was fun. Yeah, now I remember you told me, you said you have over like 100 plants. Charlie. Yes, that's, that's so many plants to take right. care of. So when did you start your collection? So I started probably over eight years now. Mm -hmm. um, I think my oldest plant is a cactus that's probably pushing 10 feet now. Um, wow. Yeah, so I've had him a while and then I've had baby plants that I've propagated off of that and spider plants that, you know, <laughs> send the little shoots off. So I snip those and grow the roots out. Yeah. Now I want to just touch on the plant sale now. So mm -hmm. your organization has a annual plant sale at That's ABAC. Right. So what can people expect when coming there? So you kind of have to journey through ABAC and onto the <laughs> ABAC farm. And there's two greenhouses that we use and we, we grow a crop out every, um, start in the fall and we grow it out till about mid April. Mm -hmm. Um, there's dozens of species of plants, um, thousands of baby plants. You can buy them by the flat, um, like 18 cell flats. So you can buy a whole bunch of bedding plants or you know, the individual ferns. We've got vegetable plants, um, lots of things that bloom outside. We've got a few house plants you can select from. Mm -hmm. Now, are you guys willing to kind of help people when they come there to kind of teach them a little bit about the plants before they buy them? Because I know for me, I'll be like, I like it, but how do I take care of it? <laughs> you for know sure. I mean? So we've got a whole rotation of students that have helped grow the plants out. They kind of know what, what the plants need and what okay. you might be looking for. So you could talk to them and they'll ask you some questions and then they'll suggest things and tell you how you can grow it, how you can be successful with what you purchase at the plant sale. Perfect. All right. Now, I know that you said that the plant sale will be at the greenhouses on ABAC's campus, um, but when is the plant sale? So it's going to be April 4th, 5th, and 6th. So that's mm -hmm. a Thursday and Friday. Um, okay. It's going to be from 9 to 5, those two days. And then on Saturday, the 6th, we're going to do um, 9 to 12. Gotcha. Now, how many plants would you say that will be there? Like thousands. Thousands? Yeah, so from the, the baby plants, you buy a whole bunch of, in one lot. Um, to like we've got some pretty massive ferns. Oh, um, wow. Take like two folks to carry them out. So yeah. it's going to be a bunch of plants. Okay. I, I think I may have to come. Like I said, I want to be a plant mom. Yeah. I have to get some skin in the game when it comes to plants. I told you I have plants at home, but they're not real. So. They're not real. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me, okay? <laughs> awesome. Well, again, can you let us know when the plant sale is, where can people find more information to come and buy their plant? Yep, so ABAC Horticulture, um, ABAC Horticulture Club has a Facebook page and an Instagram page. So we'll post a bunch of information there. Um, that'll be the date, time, how to find us. And then when you get onto campus, we'll have signs pointing you all the way through campus direction. onto the farm. That's okay. right. Perfect. Well, thank you, Charlie, for joining me. Thank it you. was a pleasure again meeting you and talking with you. Um, we will have all this information posted on our website at WAOB.com to learn more. Until then, we will see you right after the break.